This video will show you how to scroll web pages with infinite scroll in two different ways. As the name suggests, infinite scroll provides an unlimited content stream to the user. And, more contents start to load as soon as the user reaches the bottom of the page. This is a Connect demo web page showing infinite scroll structure. Once scroll to the bottom of the page, there will be more new content displayed. Let's follow us step by step through this demo web page to help you set your first task with infinite scroll. First, we need to copy the URL into Octoparse. Click Start to create a new task. Next, a page scroll needs to be set to load more content. We will demonstrate two methods here. In method 1, Octoparse will scroll and fetch the data almost simultaneously. Specifically, it's going to scroll once, get the data from the current screen, then repeat the process to extract more data. To begin, we need to click the button for adding a step in the workflow. Then choose Loop. Click on the Loop item box. Then select Scroll Page in the drop-down menu for loop mode. There are two ways to scroll the page. Choose Scroll to the bottom of the page and Octoparse will scroll directly down to the bottom without stopping in the middle. Conversely, you can tick Scroll for one screen and Octoparse will scroll one screen each time. Here, you can enter the number of times you want the scroll down to repeat. If you are not sure about exactly the times it needs, you may set a large number such as 5000. Then tick the option End Loop when there is no more content to load. One more thing is to select the proper wait time between each scrolls. You may want to pick a longer wait time for pages that take longer to load. Don't forget to click Apply to save the settings. Scroll now set. We can extract the desired data now. Click on the first block in the listing items. Remember to select the whole block instead of a single element to fetch all data you need. Click select sub-elements in the tips panel and other similar blocks will be detected and highlighted in red. Then choose select all. The desired data can now be presented in the data preview section and ready to be extracted. Click Extract Data. Now you can see a complete workflow at the right of the Octoparse interface. Please make sure that the loop for extracting data is inside the page scroll down. Then Octoparse can proceed the workflow in a correct order. Next, we are going to try method 2, where data will be fetched after finishing all scrolls. It is best for web pages with limited amount of content. Click on the Go to Web Page box. Choose Options in the Workflow Setting panel. Then tick Scroll down the page after it is loaded. Choose the scroll mode as for one screen. Set a wait time for each scroll and save the settings. The page has been set up to scroll as much as needed, and now we can proceed to extract the data. Click on the first block in the listing items. Then click Select Sub-Elements in the Tips panel. Choose Select All and click Extract Data. The loop for extracting data is set. This is the Data Preview section. You can delete unwanted fields, rename or reorder them here. Now a complete workflow is on the right side of the Octoparse interface. Click Save, then click Run to run the task. Click Show Browse here, and you will be able to see the real time interaction between Octoparse and the web page. That's all you need to do to extract data from a web page with infinite scroll. Why not try it by yourself and enjoy scraping with Octoparse? 